In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look kindly, Lord, we pray, on the devotion of your people, that those who by self-denial are restrained in body may by the fruit of good works be renewed in mind. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Set out for the great city of Nineveh and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk announcing, Forty days more and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast, and all of them great and small put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in the ashes. Then he had this proclaimed throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his nobles, neither man nor beast, neither cattle nor sheep shall taste anything. They shall not eat nor shall they drink water. Man and beast shall be covered with sackcloth and call loudly to God. Every man shall turn from, this, from his evil way and from the violence he has in hand. Who knows, God may relent and forgive and withhold his blazing wrath so that we shall not perish. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me now out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. 
Please stand. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation and she will condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. Brothers and sisters, dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> Welcome po. Good morning. Magandang umaga sa inyong mga naririto ngayon sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at doon sa grupong merong General Assembly from Manawag to, uh, I think it's Ademco from Abra, but they have a chapter here in Manawag. They have here a big group. Welcome. At doon din sa mga sumusubaybay sa atin sa, sa live stream sa internet. Alam niyo mga kapatid, sa tuwing paggising natin sa umaga, tayo ay nagsisimula ng mga signs. Hindi ko lang ho alam kung nakagisnan niyo na rin. Ako ho kasi kapag ka gumigising, mumulat. Yung unang mulat ninyo, I make the sign of the cross. I don't know kung habit niyo na rin o nakagawian niyo na rin mag-sign of the cross. Para po sa akin kasi, kapag nag-sign of the cross ako, lahat ng mga gagawin ko sa araw na ito, ay nagsisimula sa Diyos. Marami ko kasi ganun ang gunagawa, di ba? Kahit na hindi nagdadasal, magsa-sign of the cross lang. Simula pa lang, sign na agad. Bago pa tayo humarap sa salamin para tingnan ang ating muka kung, kung okay ba. Kung okay ba yung ating paningin. Sapagkat meron niyo akong kapinsanan din sa mata. Sabi sa akin ng aking doktor, pagka every morning, Father, titingnan ninyo yung mata nyo kung Okay yung kaliwa, okay yung kanan. So I have to look for signs even in my own eyes that perceive signs. Mahalagang mahalaga, lifesavers po ang signs. Hindi natin sila pwedeng ignore. Kung makikita ninyo dito sa ating simbahan na andyan sa may mga pintuan, exit. So alam natin kung saan, para saan yan. Kung kayo'y pumasok, makikita ninyo yung kanang pinto ay merong dekorasyon. That is designated as a holy door. Kapag pumasok ko kayo dyan at ginawa ninyo yung mga kailangan gawin, mag mangumpisal, magsimba, ipagdasal ang Holy Father o si Pope Francis, tayo ay nag earn ng indulgence para sa ating mga kasalanan, sa ating process of reconciliating or reconciliation with God. Kung makikita ninyo sa ating altar, meron ding mga signs wala po tayong masyadong bulaklak except doon sa trono ng birhen. Bakit ba maraming banga? It is to remind us that tayo rin, mga tao, ay parang earthen vessels, para mga palayok o mga paso na madaling mabasag. We are earthen vessels and yet inside us, we are dwellings of the Holy Spirit. So there are many signs kung minsan nga pagkagising natin sa umaga, di ba, kapag ka, <clears throat> uubo-ubo tayo ng konti, medyo natutuyo yung ating lalamunan. O di kaya, medyo may sinat tayo. Isang palatandaan na maaring tayo ay sisipunin o tatrangkasuhin. Hindi po ba? 
So, in other words, those signs give us direction kung saan tayo pupunta. Hindi natin pwedeng uh, ignorin o baliwala ang mga signs na yan. Kuminsan nga, kapag ka, halimbawa, kahit sa pagkain, di ba? Kapag ka kayo ay kumuha, kung mahilig kayo sa maanghang na instant noodles, kuminsan pag nakihon nyo sa grocery, kung galing sa Korea o kung galing sa Japan, hindi English, paano ko ba lulutuin ito, di ba? Meron na silang mga icons, nakadrawing na signs. Kapag ka nakita ninyo yung may parang uh, umaas, uma, uma, umaasbo o sumusugbong tubig, linya, ibig sabihin mainit na tubig, di po ba? Pagka sinabing tatapon yung ano, kahit hindi siya English o Tagalog, naiintindihan natin dahil sa signs. Makikita ninyo ang kulay ng pari ay yung kwaresma ay purpura or purple. Dahil ang kulay purple supposedly ay para noong unang panahon pa ay nakareserve lamang para sa mga malalaking fiesta or sa mga royalty na tinatawag. Sapagkat ang ginawa ng Panginoon para sa atin sa Kwaresma, the 40 days of Lent, is something that is uh, a huge event in our in Christendom. So in other words, it is a big feast. Perhaps makikita nyo rin bakit tatlo o anim ang kandila dito sa altar, pero isa lang ang nakasindi. Sinisindihan lahat yan kapag ka merong malalaking fiesta or solemnity. Diba? So all of this, makikita natin, tayo mismo ang nagbabasa ng signs. Ang mga signs na yan ay merong kahulugan. Kaya nga sa Ibanghelyo, makikita natin yung mga Pharisees or at least yung generation ng mga Pharisees ay humihingi ng palatandaan sa ating Panginoon. Pero ano sabi ng Panginoon? Wala kayong pananampalataya. You do not believe. Eh siya na yung nagsasalita, di ba? In other words, naghahanap pa sila. Ano bang proof mo? Even Jesus was asking for some proof or no. The disciples of John the Baptist We're asking Jesus for signs. Anong sinabi ni Jesus? Ano bang nakikita ninyo? Ang mga bulag ay nakakakita. Ang mga may sakit ay gumagaling. In other words, good works. ba? Diba? Yun yung ebidensya. Yun ang proof that I am the one. I am the Messiah. Yun ang sinasabi ni Jesus. But the Pharisees, nasa harapan na nila si Jesus, na miss pa nila. Hindi na nga sign, di ba? It's already the person of the Messiah in front of them. And then, they missed it. Kadalasan, kapag ka tayo ay nagpipilgrimage in a place like Our Lady of Manawag, meron tayong hinihingi, matinding hinihingi sa mahal na birin at sa kanyang anak. Meron tayong hinihingi at sometimes we are also tempted, di ba? To ask for a sign. Ma Mary... Are you going to give my 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 intention or the things that I am praying for? Please give me a sign. We are tempted to do that because we want uh, a guarantee that our prayers have been answered. Pero kailangan pa ba talaga yon? Because sa isang taong malakas o matindi ang pananampalataya, lahat ng nakikita sa ating paligid araw-araw are signs of God's providence, di ba? yung pagmamahal niya sa atin at yung pagkalinga niya sa atin. Kahit na meron tayong particular na hinihingi sa Panginoon, sometimes we miss it because doon lang tayo nakafocus para tayong mga kabayo sa kalesa, di ba? nakaganyan lang tayo. Hindi natin nakikita yung nasa paligid natin. But everything that is right before our eyes are signs of God's providence. Namimiss lang natin kapag ka doon lang tayo nakafocus sa ating gusto. Diba? Sayang naman. Kagaya nga, halimbawa, uh, ang Panginoon, nasa harap na ng mga Pharisees, hindi pa nila nakilala that the Messiah is right in front of them. So perhaps, all that we have to do is look for the signs. It is already all over the place. The fact na nagising tayo ngayong umaga, di ba? Wow, I'm still alive. So, hindi pa kompleto ang aking mission dito sa buhay. Ano kaya ang gustong ipagawa sa akin ng Panginoon? Again, we look for signs, di ba? Halimbawa, doon sa mga may mga asawa o sa bahay, very close kayo, di ba? Your husband, your wife, you know them. Even your children. Kilala nyo na sila kung ano kanilang ginagawi. Halimbawa, ang isang batang maliit. 
pagkaalam ninyong bibong-bibo, very active, biglang naging matamlay. Oh, the, the, the mother especially, you will see, but kaya matamlay itong anak ko? So, you are going to look for a sign. Maaaring may, may masamang pakiramdam. Ganon din ang inyong mga asawa, di ba? Kapag ka biglang tumahimik, you know them. Merong pinagdadaanan. Maaaring may sikreto. Yung iba kasi sasabihin nila ang sign of love daw ay kailangan nagseselos ng konti. Kapag hindi daw nagseselos, hindi ka mahal. May mga ganon eh. Pero ano ba talagang ibig sabihin o anong gusto nating makita sa ating mga partners in life to prove that they love us. The fact na pinakasalan ka, umuuwi sa'yo araw-araw, taking care of the family, is that not a sign? Sabi nga sa isang pelikula sa Fiddler on the Roof, uh, medyo matanda na yung mag-asawa at sa kanilang pagtulog, tinanong siya ng kanyang misis, mahal mo ba talaga ako? Doon sa kanyang husband. Sabi niya, ano? Sabi niya, hindi niya maintindihan yung tanong sapagkat After a dozen children, you will ask me if I love you. Alam, di ba? Pero kapag ka ang isang partner ninyo sa buhay ay hindi makatingin ng diretsyo sa mata, that is already a sign of something. Hindi ko naman sinasabing unfaithfulness. Hindi. Ibig sabihin, meron lamang siyang pinagdadaanan and you have to be sensitive to those signs that you read. So perhaps sa ating pagmimisa, sa ating pagsisimba, sa ating pilgrimage, We might be tempted to ask for signs. It is already all over the place. All that we have to do is to identify those signs. Those are all signs of God's providence and care for us. Those are signs of God's love for us. Kaya nga palaging makikita ninyo may way of the cross na kailaw sa pagkat kwaresma. Anong ibig sabihin yan para sa atin? We have to carry our own crosses. Makikita ninyo doon sa kaliwa ng altar na andun yung tablo ng uh, Calvario, the sign of the cross. This is what I did for you as an evidence or a proof of my love. Ang mahal na birhen, hindi iniwanan ng kanyang anak. For us to also perhaps imitate the sign. At dito sa aking kanan, makikita ninyo ang tabernakulo. Mga sakramento, di ba? Ano ba yung ostang yun? Tinapay? Makikita natin. It's just a piece of bread. But is it just a piece of bread? Ordinary. But our faith says and tells us that that is the body of Christ. The presence of God is always here, waiting for us, waiting for our prayers, waiting to hear our problems. And for us, perhaps, to also listen to what he is going to say in the readings that we have read this morning and in our prayers and in the needs of other people around us. So let us pray for that grace of sensitivity to discern what the signs that are presented to us mean. Let us now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. Jonah discovered that there is no getting away from the Lord. We now turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and to believe firmly in Christ's call to repentance. For his intention we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the leaders of the church may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this season may be a time of renewal and conversion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the citizens of Nineveh, we may renounce our evil ways and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find security and love from those who care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pause for a few moments of meaningful silence to pray for our own individual intentions and for the intentions of all those who are present here. Huwag natin kakalimutan ang sabi ng Panginoon, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am with them. And dami po natin, ano, siguro mahigit uh, tatlong daan tayong naandito. If we pray for one another, then perhaps uh, we just have to wait for the answer that the Lord will give us for our petitions. For all this we pray, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your son. As from all eternity, you willed his resurrection. Associate us with him forever. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer for you, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you, O Lord, what you have given to be dedicated to your name, that just as for our benefit, you make these gifts a sacrament. So may you you may let them become for us an eternal remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sagot po kayo ng malakas, ha? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. <clears throat> let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim.
Dennis Neal. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Say pong lahat, peace be with you. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us now pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. So let us pray together. 
Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and fervorous language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who never cease to nourish us by your sacrament, grant that the refreshment you give us through it may bring us an ending life through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, maraming salamat mo po sa inyong pagbisita at pagdalaw dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag. Um, we ask you to pray also for our ministry here. At sa lahat ng mga ginagawa po namin para sa mga devotees of Our Lady of Manawag. At kayo makakaasa rin sa dasal ng aming community dito sa, sa Shrine of Our Lady. So let us pray for one another. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. At kagaya ng pagbati ko sa inyo, maaari bang pabaunan ninyo ang mga katabi ninyo sa harap, sa likod, sa kaliwa at sa kanan ng ganun ding greeting bago tayo magkahiwahiwalay. Pakisabi po sa kanila, The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Eucharist. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be, be to God. God. Let us now pray the prayer for the blessing of the sick and uh, the blessing of the religious articles that you have with you. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs>